Hello everyone and welcome to another iMindMap 10 tutorial, this time on 3D mode. Now, when we're in 2D, you can see that we can move around the canvas by clicking and dragging, we can go up, down, left, right, uh, but we don't really have much to play with in 3D space. We can change that by clicking on mode and hitting 3D map. Now, this will immediately convert your 2D mind map into a pretty cool looking 3D mind map that you can interact with in 3D space. You can navigate by clicking and dragging just like you can in 2D mode. That's the pan around your map. However, what isn't there before was the ability to rotate your map in 3D space using the little wheel in the bottom right corner. You can click and drag and rotate around your map in a nice smooth fashion. Uh, you can see the central idea is 3D here as well. Um, which is pretty cool, uh, and you can also navigate around your map by clicking on the individual branches or aspects of your map and the camera will kind of center in on those for you. Now you can edit your branch in 3D as well using the four buttons at the end of the branches. These are your drawing tools, so the blue is to move, uh, just like in 2D, the colors represent the same things. Um, so the red is to draw your branch, like so. Uh, just call that red. Uh, the box branch is the yellow icon and we'll go ahead and put yellow in there. And then using the green you can create relationships between branches. Again all the functions work exactly the same as they do in 2D mode except they look cool because they're in 3D. Uh, so there we have it. Nice 3D map. Uh, so although this is already pretty cool is a way we can make it cooler and that's with environments. Um, so we're going to access the menu in the bottom right next to the rotation wheel, hover over environment and you get a nice selection of different environments that you can choose from. Uh, my favorites personally are the uh, the gradient ones, uh, so the, uh, the blue one, the orange one and the green one. Uh, I also like the, uh, the grid runes as well, I think they look cool. Um, but Ultimately, the choice is yours. Uh, hopefully, you'll find one that you like. Um, they just give a little more flavor to your map, uh, and they're, they're great for just if you want to show off a little bit. Uh, if you've got a meeting or presentation that you need to give your map out at, this is a really cool way to do that. Um, so I'm going to go change that back to the blue one, since that's my favorite one. And once you've got a really nice angle that you're happy with for your map, we can go ahead and export that as an image. So you can choose from a PDF, a PNG, or a JPEG. I'm going to choose JPEG for now and just save that out as 3D map. Hit save, and your image has been captured. So I flipped it back to 2D mode now just because I want to take you through one last thing. So you notice how the central idea was 3D when we were in 3D mode. Well, this isn't true for all of the central ideas. Some of them will they will be converted to 3D, but they'll be flat within the 3D space, just as you can see here. So if we kind of zoom out uh, and rotate around, you can see that it's still flat within the space. So do bear that in mind when choosing your central idea if you're aiming to create a specifically 3D map. Um, so some of them will be 3D, uh, such as this one, uh, and some of them will be 2D. Uh, we really hope you enjoy this feature. It's been in iMindMap for a while, um, but we thought we'd take you through it again. See you next time.